ladies and gentlemen, here we are in June 2017. Without Alex Hornstein of Looking Glass. The hey, it's good to see you. And you are the man with the volumetric displays. That's right. Uh, and now we're branching out into a new type of display. We're calling this the Hologram Hacker Kit. And this is a, a kit for experimenting with mid-air interaction. So what you can see here is there's actually a floating mid-air image here that I'm interacting with. And I can make little doodles. And uh, I'm not wearing a headset, and neither is my phone. That's right. We're just looking at this thing in midair. I'm touching it. I can reach out. I can see this thing. It's as if it's really here. And um, and and let's just do this. There's. It's really floating nowhere. I mean, there's no object there. All right. That's right. So what is this? Well, uh, so this is a illusion that we call the, um, an aerial illusion. And what's going on is it's taking an LED screen that is driven by a Raspberry Pi, and it's making that float in midair. Um, and it's programmed in Python, it's written, it's a little program I wrote in Pi game over a day. But really, I think this type of midair interaction is so cool. I mean, this is like a, it's actually an old trick, but, People haven't applied it to digital programming and interaction. So you say it's an old trick, and you know, to the to a naive mind like mine, I might might say, "Wow, is this like a Pepper's Ghost?" Well, it's kind of like a Pepper's Ghost. Pepper's Ghost, you can make an object float, but it's always behind the glass, so you can't reach out and touch it. Okay, so I can touch this. This one is in front of the glass, uh, so it's a different trick, but kind of in the same vein. It's just using a, a different optical setup to make it appear to float. Okay, and so I know you talked about light convergence and retro reflectivity, but can you give me the the um, short version of that? Yeah, let's look, at, let's look at a single point of light down here. So yep. if you look down at that LED screen, there's a little ball of light hanging out there. And if you imagine a ray of light coming out from the middle of that, it comes up, it hits this, this is just regular acrylic. So it hits the acrylic, and it bounces down. And all around here is retroflective material. It's the same stuff that's on jogging pants that makes them look bright in uh, car headlights. It hits that, and the retroflective material makes it bounce right back where it came from. And it passes through the glass into our eyes. And what that means is, uh, as we have a bunch of different rays of light, they all pass through the same point, uh, right here in midair. And it looks to us, it tricks our eyes into thinking there is a, a light source floating right here in the air, and it's like it's mirrored around the glass. So if this is the point here, it's exactly the, uh, mirrored on the other side of that. It's just, it looks ah, like it's floating. Okay. So, so what's next? For you guys, are you bringing this product to market? Is there going to be a Kickstarter? So, right now what we're doing is kind of a, a very first test. This is very, very new in our company. We just made this literally this morning. Uh, and we want to see uh, what there's, if there's interest in this. People are going to get them and build interesting stuff out of it. So we have this is kind of the cheap experimentation kit. You can build it yourself, you can buy one from a kit from us, but it doesn't take anything to build it. And I made this about an hour. Um, wow. And yeah, it's easy. Uh, and uh, we also have more complex kits. So this is all 2D interaction. And we have more complex setups that do 3D interaction display. What we want to see is what will make people play with this stuff. Like what what gets them excited? What do people create? What do people create with that is new, that's fresh, that's engaging? And so we're starting to make some of these and put them out in the world and publish and describe how we build stuff. And people can buy some very early kits if they like. Uh, you can write us at info at lookingglassfactory.com. Say you want to get one of these kits. We are more than happy to work with you. Um, and. If these things go well, if we find interest, then yeah, Kickstarters, 
turning into full products, producing at that time. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. This was amazing. A very hands-on geek dinner. We had many milestones. Well, Realize this night. Thanks for having me. It's super fun. I'm glad. I'm glad to be here.